to do my new little lick. All right, guys. Hey, happy Sunday to you. Man, what an amazing uh, uh, week. I had my family in town all week. Today's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you. Hey, look, a big happy Father's Day to all you guys out there. Uh, we wouldn't be here without you, and so um, couldn't do anything without you. Um, my dad and mom just left yesterday, heading back to Alabama, uh, South Alabama Gulf Coast, and um, they like to take a little leisurely two-day drive to get back down there, break it up a little bit. Um, and so uh, uh, I want to get to some cool stuff here. I'm going to show you some really uh, cool stuff uh, in the key of A, just staying in one position uh, and targeting some of these uh, uh notes in the blues, some key notes in the blues, kind of like what I was just doing a minute ago, but not quite that complicated, but uh, I'm going to get to that in just a second, but man, um, we had an amazing sunset cruise, uh, just as good as it gets, all my family was there, all my best friends in the world, Wig Walker and the, my band of brothers was playing uh, music for us as we sipped Lake Margaritas and drove by Johnny Cash's old house and Roy Oberson's old house on the lake out there, uh, the one they uh, used in the, the movie. Uh, and they had, um, uh, you know, I don't know if they used it in the movie, but it's the house portrayed in the movie and the tractor is still there on the bank of the river uh, out there. And so we drive by that and play Ring of Fire and it's a whole thing. It's it's a lot of fun though, man. It's really something special. And we did that on Thursday. And then uh, last night went and heard Jack Pearson. He got out of the house finally after four and a half years. Uh, he got out and played a gig last night and um, it was good. It was good. You could... You could tell that, you know, I'm, I'm noticing that a lot of these guys, you know, uh, my parents included, I'm noticing, man, there's some people are finally starting to get some age on them after all these years. And myself included, man, you can't stop time. You know, um, it's just going to win every time. And so, um, but man, it was great to see everybody last night. So here's a classic Nashville moment. You know, I get an Uber over here. I had a little, a little uh, drink down there and got in the Uber car. My parents were on the, on the road and I was like, okay, I'm getting back to my, getting out here a little bit, here's some music. So had a little drink, got in an Uber, went to 3rd and Lindsay, walked in the back door as I do, into the green room back there, which is a nice big green room. And I walk in and there's Jack and there's Tommy Emmanuel jamming with David Greer and Pat Bergeson's playing the harmonica. And, uh, and there's all these cats, wig walkers there and Charles Treadway and all these guys that I've known forever. And, and Oates, John Oates was there with his new, uh, not, not new friend, but a, a, a new friend for me that I met last night, this uh, German character. I don't know his name, but he designed, apparently designed some of the most legendary Porsches of all time. He was there last night and we hung for a long time. And uh, I've got some pictures and stuff I'll put up maybe, but uh, I got to share some of the boat crews and some of the uh, stuff last night on a separate bonus footage backstage video. Uh, maybe I'll do two today or if not, at least tomorrow. Uh, so, hey, guys, look, thanks a bunch. This channel's growing rapidly. I'm so excited, you know, and, and hey, how, how can I help but to want to hit 100,000 followers and get the nice little silver button uh, doodah, right? Uh, maybe I'll, you know, throw it over there in the corner and let it collect dust. But anyway, look, guys, here's the thing. I want to get into a little guitar stuff. And thanks for all the comments on the um, on all the other videos. I know I've been putting a lot of stuff up here, but it's just going to keep coming. You know, that's the good thing about us, the guys with experiences. I'm claiming, self-proclaiming that I have some experience, which, uh, you know, that's a stretch. But um, I got a lot of experience doing something. I don't know what it is. But um, uh, to be able to share some of this stuff, you know, it's not, we're not like having to come up with stuff. Oh, what are we going to put up there? It's like, no, man, we're just going to keep doing it. I mean, we've got endless amounts of stuff that we can get into with this uh, guitar. So in A, if I'm playing in A, I'm going to take this, and I might even show you a couple licks here, just some ideas to get you going, but I'm in this shape. Here's the chord, A7. Here's my four chord, D. D7 or D9. I'm looking at all this the same. There's your D7 out of your G shape. But all this stuff, even though it might be, okay, well, that's stealing from the G shape. We're still staying right in this shape. You know, that's available. D7 there. This D7, D9. We're going to play the same stuff over all those uh, chords. It's still just a D7. Back to A7, right? E7, right there. 
E9, same thing. Back to A7. So if I just did this one lick, watch, out of this chord, right? Hammering on the major third, right up the pen. Doesn't get any simpler than that. Now, at that point, I'm ready for a blue note, so watch. Now, here's a phrasing lesson. You could phrase this like that, like B.B. King. He would probably do that, right? Or you could go, right, more of a... So there's two different ways to do it. Um, it just depends on which one you want. So uh, I would go, you know, maybe... Uh, that's more of a statement, right? It's got a little bit more impact. Now my next note. That's the minor pentatonic. I'm blending those in though. I'm hitting the major. Major third. Now that first phrase. Now the second phrase needs to be a blue note because it needs to have that mix of bluesy sound and the kind of major third sound. So if I did that again, that's coming right down the uh, minor pentatonic. Okay, now I could do that a couple different ways. Now I added another note. This note. The six, right? start dabbling around. I could go major third again. I could go with the six. What is that? The two? Yeah. Right up the, now watch, right up the major pentatonic. Now watch. Here's a great idea. Watch this. So if I go, I'm bouncing around a little bit, but I'm going to show you some good stuff. So right here, that's pentatonic, but you got to know that chord and you got to know that information around there to be able to, you know, confidently hit these notes uh, because that's the foundation. Okay, so if I go here, I watch over my four chord. So I'm just playing. because because this is an A minor triad. Go to the five, same lick. Watch this. See, I'm targeting those notes, the third, the root. Stating that chord. There's a good one. Okay, there's a little example. Now watch, getting back to this shape and this area here, back to this. There's your last part. like saying a short sentence to somebody and it making sense. They go, oh, okay, cool. I get that. What's he going to say next? Here's the first part. Here's the next part. Here's the last part. There you are. 
So now watch, getting down to this chord shape here, there's my A, here's my D triad, here's my E, here's E7, here's E7 here. So we're getting into this. So if I go, um, start coming into play. over your E chord. It's the five of the E7. E seven. So perfect little lick over the four chord. third out of this there's d7 go right back to that Once again, get familiar with that. sour notes. Those notes behind it soften it up a little bit. Go to the four. Because that's D7. to the other chord. So I'm throwing in that major third, right? That's all minor pentatonic. But then I'm going to hammer on that major third. at home, right? Okay, here's a lick I wanted to show you uh, through all this stuff, is this reoccurring, you know... over all three of these chords. Watch. It's something like that. So I'm going, when I hit the D, to hit that 
that D7, right? So that's over the E7. D7. was the most valuable I think that that reoccurring lick that you can move in those shapes uh, so um, just try to get something out of that I know that was a little all over the place but um, that's just my style but uh, but that is a good if you if you stop and look at some of those licks that I was doing even though you go what is he doing all that was good stuff it's just uh, you know I'm always trying to find, find ways to break this down and explain it better to you but just listen and look at the chord and you're gonna see where I'm doing these licks. But try to stay in one shape and get into this shape, this shape, and this shape and see all those notes right around there. Do this. Look at the foundation of those chords in each one of these chord, uh, chord shapes. It will help, it will help, it will, it, it's the answer. I mean, that's the Bible of the guitars. The chord and the arpeggio, the pentatonic, the scale, and the song. And that's it. Uh, hey, guys, look, I appreciate it. Happy Father's Day again to you. I uh, thought I'd switch it up, with wear a different hat for a change. I know you guys are getting tired of the flat bill uh, camouflage. Um, but uh, these are like my wigs, man, you know. Um, so uh, this is a, a custom-made hat by Gigi at Nashville Hat Works, and, it's a, and they call it Heathered Rabbit. For, uh, whatever that means, but I always like, I like this hat. Uh, it's been all over the world with me. So I thought I'd break that out. <laughs> Why not? All right, guys, look, uh, I'll see you soon. 
and um, looking forward to some more videos. Thanks uh, if you're if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. My goal is to get to a hundred thousand. Uh, of course, you know we got to have a goal. How can you not when you're looking at those numbers? And uh, leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the tip jug if you haven't already. That can change a man's life, and um, and it does not go uh, unappreciated. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Telecasting from East Nashville, Tennessee. Tomorrow night at the Underdog, John Oates is going to sit in with us, uh, with us and play about four songs. And uh, there's a bunch of other stuff going on uh, that I'll get into. But uh, thanks a bunch, guys. All right, see you soon. Take care.